Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are packing up the bedroom, which is very, very exciting because that means we're gonna pack up the dresser. I believe we can take the stuff out of the dresser. I'm pretty sure we need to. I've gotta pack up the dresser, bag some clothes in the closets. I ended up grabbing some of these like large trash bags because our trash bags from Costco did not actually fit the clothes well like it fit over the hangers but i couldn't actually like pull it over the clothes so i got these to kind of bag up my clothes that are hanging right now i'm going to be packing up my like overnight bag because jason and i are going to close and it's basically going to be like a 4 p.m close and then we're going to stay there that night probably not with like any of our stuff i'm going to film an empty house tour that day but I want to have like a suitcase and stuff over there so that I can, you know, get ready for bed and wash my face and then have some clothes for the next morning because we're going to start moving the next day. So it's all approaching so quickly. I literally can't even wrap my mind around it. But I was telling Jason, I just feel so much peace about this whole process, the whole move, the house, everything. I just feel like it has fallen into place in ways that like we just could not force it into place. On a lot of the other houses that we went after that we didn't get, obviously, it was like trying to jam stuff together and make it work and make finances work and make everything work. But this one literally has just fallen into place and it just is so exciting. So I feel really good going into this week. We have everything lined up for the finances and the closing and all that stuff. So it's truly just packing and then getting stuff over there. But I am doing some laundry right now because I'm trying to stay on top of laundry so that everything that we move over there is relatively clean. I don't really want to move over like dirty clothes. So I'm doing laundry right now. I'm going to like wash our towels, I think tomorrow. And then I'm going to be like packing up the bathroom as well today. I've got this beauty cart that I want to kind of disassemble. Well, not really disassemble the cart, but I want to take everything off and pack it into boxes so that I can move all of my beauty products very, very carefully because I don't need all this stuff. So I'm going to pack like an overnight bag with the essentials just the skincare i'm using right now some makeup even though let's be honest i'm not even gonna really do my makeup for the move because we're moving in august which was the month that we were like wow i really hope that we don't have to move in the summer and it's the hottest month in nashville so that's fun but i wouldn't trade it for the world i'm so excited this house is perfect everything has gone super well so far i'm just so grateful i just feel so excited so blessed so at peace and just so joyful in all of this like i don't feel that stressed at all i just feel so happy i think at first like a week ago i was starting to get like a little bit anxious a little bit stressed because i was like oh my gosh we're gonna have to pack it up but now i'm just like so grateful and just so joyful that we even get the opportunity to do this and i just feel really really excited more than anything so ha ah. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start by packing my overnight bag before I like pack up the stuff in the dresser and before I like basically cover everything in the closet. I want to like pull out the stuff that I actually want for the overnight stay. So I'm going to just pack up my suitcase, which is a great way to get my suitcase over there. We actually have a few suitcases, so I might pack stuff into the suitcases so that we can just roll it on in. But Jason and I are gonna be doing a U-Haul trip ourselves and then maybe like one friend the day after we close. And then the next day, we're gonna have a bunch of friends and family help us move all the furniture. So it's gonna be a relatively easy move, I think. I think I unzipped the wrong one. I unzipped the expander, which I guess I could use the expander. So I feel like honestly, I'm just gonna take like t-shirts slash tank tops, even though it's only like an overnight bag i'm also just gonna try to pack it kind of to the point where it's like full so that it just makes less trips if i can just get the suitcase kind of full of stuff then i just feel like i won't have to move quite as much so i'm just gonna pack up some of my like athletic tanks and stuff like that and hopefully that will make it easier underwear and then the rest of the stuff I'll just put in a big suitcase and then I can just roll it over there anyway. So I'll just take sweats. I'm gonna take like all of my athletic shorts. And just because I don't know if I'm gonna have time to like unpack all of my clothes and stuff as soon as we get there, because Jason's family is gonna be staying with us at the new house. So I don't feel like there's gonna be a whole lot of time to like unpack stuff until they leave. So I just kind of want to have something of everything. So I've got like some denim shorts that I'm gonna take. I've got like a sweatshirt cardigan. And then because that 
the house does have a pool. We're definitely gonna go swimming the night that we get there because why not? So I'm just gonna bring like swimsuits and then the rest I'll just bring over later because I don't need them all immediately. I'm actually gonna bring this bag full of pool towels so that we can have that. Now I'm going to figure out what makeup and skincare I wanna take. I don't know if I've ever really shown you guys this cart, but this is my beauty cart and I've got makeup on the first three tiers and then skincare and hair stuff at the bottom. This is gonna have to be packed up in boxes boxes and hopefully I'll have enough space in the new house to like put this stuff behind doors or in doors and stuff so I don't have to have it on a cart. So I'm gonna take like some skin tints, Ilya skin tint. I'm gonna take my comb. I'm just gonna live out of this thing for the next few days until we actually close and then this will actually just be packed up. So I'm just kind of pulling stuff that like I already know that I use and I want to have with me. So this is what I've packed for makeup. It's definitely more than I need, but I just kind of packed a bunch of different things that I felt like I might want, so whatever. So now I'm gonna pack skincare in this little to-go case. This is actually what I used on my wedding day and when I took on my honeymoon. Get to break it out once again and use it for important things like first night in the house, so for skincare, I'm just gonna pack the stuff again that I'm using right now and then pack up everything else today that I'm not using. I'm also gonna keep out like hair clips and stuff that I'm using right now. I'm gonna keep my curling iron and my hair dryer out. And then I think everything else on this cart is good to be boxed up. I know this is like a horrible angle, but I don't know where else to put you guys. I think I'm gonna stick my skincare and stuff in this tote bag because I don't really feel great about putting it in a box. Maybe I should box it up, but I just feel like this seems like a better idea. What should I do? <laughs> I'm gonna do this and put the plastic stuff on the bottom. So anything that has like a plastic container is gonna go in the bottom and then anything with glass i'll just kind of ride on top so we'll just see what happens and hopefully it gets transported carefully so stuff gets very very dusty here which is also why i hope that the next place that we move to has drawers and cabinets because it gets so dusty here don't love it should I just put this in there? I hope none of this stuff leaks. Okay, I feel like I can put sunglass stuff in now. This actually might literally just be skincare. I do have another tote though that I can throw makeup in and hopefully it will be fine. I'm gonna start with <laughs> lip products. I'm trying to figure out the best method for this because there's truly just like so much to go in here. I don't know, there's probably like a better way to transport this stuff. I just don't know what that is. So, just going for it. This will just be handled very, very gently. Twilight said no to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Wallace is going through his drawer currently. Dude, I found a. Uh, his single drawer. <laughs> I found a nail clipper. Oh my gosh! Uh, the I'm... other day. So now we got three. I have like six. Do we need all of those? These are nice ones. Except for this one. This one's not that nice. <laughs> yeah, I like to have one in my travel bag and one. Okay. Well, what's all those flosses in the drawer, baby? I'm what? babe, I'm going back to that drawer. <laughs> Don't you have something to do? I have done you know, all of this. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm still with you. What am I doing? Four deodorants. Okay, this one can be thrown away. Do you have a tote for me for my bathroom stuff? No. You don't have any room in any of those totes. Show them how many totes you have, babe. It's fine. Oh, you got room right there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Riley does not understand what's happening. She's like, why is all of her stuff in boxes? <sighs> On another note, I have lots of totes for this reason. I saved all my totes for this. So I'm going to try to keep all of my stuff on hangers so I can just plop it into the new closet. But all of this stuff that is on the shelf, I'm probably not gonna wear between now and the time that we move. So I'm gonna throw it into this suitcase and hopefully I'll be able to just wheel it over there. <laughs> just gonna put my nicer stuff in the suitcase and then the rest of the stuff is going in trash bags. So 
it is what it is. This is not gonna fit. Is this gonna close? So I was able to fit most of it in the suitcase, but I need to put these and these, I guess just in a trash bag or a tote bag or something and then bag up this, bag up that, and then pack all this random stuff up in boxes. <laughs> it might not fit in a tote bag. Mm. All right, we're going trash bag for this. I'm gonna put a few of my handbags that I don't mind kind of getting a little bit squished in here too. All of my like designer bags, I'm gonna put in a box and just try to get those over to the new place very carefully because those are important to me. But these are a little bit more like durable, so I don't really have a problem sticking them in a bag. Mm, I don't think that's gonna fit, okay. So I guess now I'll go ahead and bag my clothes. I'll just commit. <laughs> I hope I did that right. nicer bags in the box that it came in just to keep it nice and safe so now i need to pack up my shoes which kind of got a lot of shoes so i'm gonna just throw them in this box and hopefully they'll fit we'll see i've also got a bunch of boots that were under my clothes i don't know with the boots, I really just don't see them all fitting in this box, but we'll see. These are all of my boots, and now I'm gonna just throw in my least worn like heels and stuff into this box. I'm definitely gonna have to grab another box. This <sighs> fell on my face. This closet is so warm. I'm literally sweating. Ooh, very dusty. I haven't worn these in a sec. Very, very dusty. Now I'm packing up my perfumes and wrapping each one. go through the bedside table and just put it all in this little tote bag i'm using all of my bags now but i just feel like that's the only place i can think i have the most random things at my bedside table but i like went through all of this and i was like i kind of feel like i should keep this stuff anyway i don't know i just feel like it's a hodgepodge okay this cream I kept in my bedside table because it's the coolest packaging ever. I got this last year around Christmas from a brand and I just thought that was so cool. Like I can't even bring myself to use it, which I probably should because it's a cream, but it just seems so nice. I feel like I should leave the lotion maybe. Pack up the hand cream though. I need to find a glasses case. Another Sharpie. Scissors, my retainer, eye drops, all that stuff. Hair ties, more cream. Well, I guess I keep that cream. Pack this cream up. My Apple Watch band. I honestly need to like vacuum out these drawers. I'll leave that cream. Some photos and a note. 
Can I just leave that in here? Do I need to pack this? Hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna pack up candles and stuff that was just kind of sitting on the top shelf of our closet. I've got candles and like our wedding stuff, the jewelry box. A lot of this stuff is like dusty because I haven't touched it in a while. So I'm just gonna dust it off while I've got it down. You guys also have like stashes of candles or just me these are our ring boxes from our david yerman wedding bands and i don't know if i'm supposed to keep these but they're like really nice boxes so i feel kind of weird getting rid of them but i don't know no i'm out of tape ah <sighs> found more don't worry Whew. Not too heavy. I was a little bit worried. Last thing is packing up the dresser and stuffing things in duffel bags. And then we're done. I'm like shocked. I mean, there's still like a few things, but for the most part, the bedroom is like finished, which is actually just crazy. And there you have it, guys. We are Officially moving. <laughs> Jason cleaned out his already too. All the duffel bags, all the cosmetic bags. This is for the most part empty. And then in here we've got all of our boxes. I end up throwing these on the shelves, my drink, my outfit for closing day. And then Jason still has to throw his clothes in a trash bag and bag his clothes. And then I gotta throw all of these like towels and extra sheets in trash bags as well. But then I'm pretty sure we are done. I'm so happy. Oh, it took a long time, but I'm really, really glad that I knocked it out in like a couple days. But I hope you guys enjoyed packing with me and basically just disassembling the bedroom. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and be on the lookout for our empty house vlog and our moving vlog. I don't know. I don't even know the order at this point, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to stick around for some more videos, and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye, y'all.